Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This phone call sponsored by GoDaddy.com. This phone call sponsored by GoDaddy.com. Call from Peter's S. This phone call sponsored by GoDaddy. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Howdy. Uh, this is Race, dude. I called about, like, I think the last time was about two years ago uh, when I was talking about Trillian and Astra. Oh, right, right. But, uh, yeah, um, so I had a question. I have Windows 7 RC1 installed on my computer right now. Okay. And I really haven't had a problem with it for, like, a good year and a half. Or, I mean, I haven't had a problem with my computer for about a year and a half when I bought it. <laughs> and I uh, installed Windows 7 RC1 when it came out. And I was just wondering, like, would you go ahead and buy the actual... Uh, Windows 7 copy until it, or should I wait until this runs out? Because I really haven't had a problem with Windows 7. Well, uh, yeah, I, it it is going to run out the the uh, uh, the beta or the RC. But uh, if I were you, then I would wait to buy. Wait until there's like a coupon or special, uh, you know, saving money on the upgrade, and then certainly upgrade. Uh, you don't need to get it right away. Some people really want to get it right away. But if you're not running into any issues with it right now, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be so anxious to to get it without saving some money first. And I think we've got some Windows Seven coupons lying around somewhere, or they're all over the web too. So, just don't don't do it until you can save money with uh, with Windows Seven. Okay, and then my second question was like, uh, I was I heard that you probably shouldn't you should buy home premium as opposed to ultimate. Like, what's up with that? Uh, I don't know about home premium versus professional, but I know... What's that? Is there not really, like, a good reason to buy Ultimate from what I've seen for the, like, average user? Yeah, the Ultimate Edition, from what I could see, again, from Microsoft's literature, the big difference between professional and Ultimate uh, was additional language packs. <sighs> Uh, and then BitLocker. Those are the two things in Ultimate uh, that are, uh, you know, that's that that's the value add. So more languages, and I, I, I don't know if you, you know, communicate in another language, but uh, if you do, it certainly would be worth it to get Ultimate, although I've also argued that I don't see that as a value add. That should be a part of the operating system, not, not, uh, not an add-on. Language support. I mean, what are they going to do next? You know, next version of Windows. Are you, they going to start charging us for you know words that have over five letters in them? Is that only going to be you know for the Windows Ultimate Dictionary Edition? They, I, it's just I. So yeah, you don't need to spend the money on Ultimate Edition. Uh, I thought it, it was uh, it was interesting how Microsoft kind of dropped the Ultimate add-ons. Uh, you know, with Windows Vista, it just kind of petered out. Uh, they kind of slapped the community right across their face. And some people took it, and they said, oh, Seven's so much better than Vista. I'm like, yeah, but some of us were saying Vista wasn't great to begin with, and Seven's an incremental improvement. Um, honestly, for most power users, I think a professional or, or home, uh, it's home professional, right? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about home premium. Home premium, but... that's right. So yeah, I mean, they've got, how many SKUs do they have? Their starter, home, home, pro, premium, you're right. home starter, like a million ones, uh, you know, uh, different combinations. I don't know. It's confusing, even for geeks. And I mean, I'm sure there are some geeks who could just rattle it off, you know, in their sleep. But you know, some of us have a life, and uh, we just want the operating system to work. Yeah, and then uh, one last thing is that if I went out, like I'm running the Windows Ultimate uh, RC edition, so. Uh, it's a beta, but could I go out and buy Home Premium and upgrade it, even though it's, uh, I guess, by Windows terms, Ultimate is better than Home Premium? Right. You mean kind of downgrade in terms of features? The, uh, yeah. I wouldn't yeah, recommend doing that anyway. I have the actual copy instead of it running out in June yeah. or whatever it does. I wouldn't do that. I would never install Final Software over beta. Ever. Okay. Ever. All right. Not, not recommended. Do install them? I would, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, wait till you can save money. Uh, and then yeah, get it. Maybe in the interim you can get uh, you can get it for free somehow. Um, you know yeah. there there are plenty of specials that are going to be happening. Uh, just keep your eye out for that stuff. And I'll have to keep people uh, posted. We've got coupons.lockernome.com and whatnot. Hey, have you picked up my Windows Seven ebook yet? Uh, no, I haven't. It's only seven dollars. All right. Well, uh, see if I can pick it up with Windows Seven then do, when do, I get my paycheck. So. Do, do, you, do you know where to get it? In. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. Later, man. Later.
go.tagjag.com slash seven.